Ah, oh, peut-être, j'ai pas pensé. Ça serait bizarre, mais c'est comme Hey there everyone, this is Alcal, Blends from Rex, and uh, we're going in World 2. We start uh, the dream. Oh wow, the cursor started there. It's the cursor saved on the menu. Now the magic of contest level is that on a day-to-day -day basis, you just do not know what you're gonna get. Yesterday was a bit of a nightmare. By the way, scoops. It turns out the author did get use a gimmick and did have location temple adjective tight fisted and sprite uh, NPC. I mean Bowser statue bonus big steely. But he didn't give that information with a submission, which was part of the rules. You gotta be careful about these things. Who put a little letter here on this pipe? I don't know, it's the winners of this. It's just they put it on a pipe. Ponty Python and the Groly Hail! <laughs> By Papyrus Summy. Look at that, 42, 30, 42. Like, these are all right scores. Two and two? Like, you know, like, that's the right score. Welcome to Mario, as you find followed Mario, then the goalie. Hello, yo, uh, Blaine's dead head. All right, inexpensive. Okay, well, oh yeah, so these are gonna be pretty cheap. Is that what you're saying? I don't know. Running in the field. There we go, I made it to the end. I did it! I beat the level. <laughs> All right. What is have? Oh jeez. All right. Okay. I see that we're finally out. Yeah. 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 Uh, hi, Ponty Python. It's fine. So those those thorns are flashing. Oh, the gangly overgrowth. All right. They're pretty scary. All right. So uh, 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 like that. I'm gonna go where the arrows at. All right. Here we go. I forget what the order you want. Seems the only way is up. Uh, oh, that's pretty unfortunate. Pesky plants, let's go! Check it out, look at that plant. It whoa jeez, uh what? Oh, and then I just phased through those thorns. That was kind of unfortunate. So I guess I wasn't high enough up there when I disembarked. So let's do a mighty jump then. There you go. And yeah, and so these things, I pressed up to look up, but you can't answer my backs, but yeah. Oh, this, this is, if your vines are growing in a net pattern like that, you might want to consult a mathematician. Am I gonna make it in time? Just barely. The double-sided saw blade. Very scary. Don't throw fire at me. Whoa, jeez. Alright, be scared. Hey, there's a house up there. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I'm making my way to the floating house in the cabin up north. Uh, where it overgrows and it's full of sports. This is an old house. Old ghost house got caught by the vines. No, yeah. It just kind of got like ripped off of its basement and look at that someone put a ground here Check it out. There's a turtle and mushroom party going on. I want to participate. There you go That's why Mario doesn't get invited anywhere. Yo Look at all these hills. Some of them are square. Some of them are pills. Just don't ingest them They're pretty big. Make sure to have like a cup of coffee nearby. Hey another midpoint what a thought! Uh, Alright, oh, uh, they're not, they don't, whoa. Well, I'm gonna double up on fire, thank you. If you throw fire at these conveyors, they don't teleport. Oh, right, it's Mother Brain here! Shoot the Fortress Guardian! Wait, 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 are you the Fortress Guardian? Oh, you're gonna be my means uh, to exact violence, got it. Yeah, see, he's like, shoot. Oh, oh, there's a, okay, that's a, uh, enemies may pass here block. Got it. All right. Look, Python, Mortimer. Uh, I'm a big fan of yours, especially the way you bounce back to me after hitting a brain in the face. It's kind of funny that it gives you a double fireball, but if you don't really have anything to double fireball, I mean, you got you got the local swines, I guess, if you want to go to the farmlands for a little bit. But that's like a two-hour drive, man, and that's only one way. You can't even return back unless you, like, get a paper official notarized by the Swamp King. And I mean, look, he's a nice guy, but he has very long, boring stories. Look at that guy, that happy wheel man. The, it's the Groly Hail! Uh, Alright, let's get in the car. Alright, hi Groly Rail. 
It's a roll made of an ice-like gemstone. Ooh, all right. Sounds pretty good. The music is all over the place here. <laughs> all right, we did it. We're in the car now. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's all the different lands have landed here. So we collect them all. You didn't. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was cute. That was a bit all over the place. This, I... I do not quite have a sense of how all of this was organized. I mean, uh, Poimython, the, the name makes sense. Whoa. Oh. Like you went for prrrr. I guess you were afraid. Uh, so planes, inexpensive, Mr. Saturn, bonus beanstalk. I mean, yeah, no, yeah, it makes sense. I just, that mostly has to do with the, the start. All right, well, you're allowed, everyone should be the one discussing the rule, okay. That is true, it is doable. Go wild, so yeah, so let's see where we're going here. Roll, with, although, Roll wasn't really involved, but I mean that was because it was Beanstalk and I forgot Mr. Saturn, right? Why why do I have no memory? Yeah, Mr. Saturn. Mr. Saturn! Not on Jupiter! Is that alright? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, is it? I mean... I don't know about the start. Personally, I would have went all in on the vine. Like, I would have gone in more in. Like, I would have done more with the vine aspect. All intertwined around, like, all a whole bunch of stuff. I think you might have a more solid experience. Yeah. It was, like, it was cute. But if you're out there to play a video game, I, I it, it has left me hungry. Uh, yeah, but yeah, the Tangled Vine Tower was honestly pretty neat, and I wanted more of that. That is true. You don't really gain much from the Mother Brain fight. Uh, oh, uh, I didn't get stuck, though. That's true. <laughs> uh, I love it when the plus and the minus are the same. Alright, so, okay, so we got different orbs. Now I'm gonna be another- I got- I got- I got filtered. Hey, Wim. That of my right received a two-point penalty for re-rolling their gimmick table. What?! And then it ignored the table! <laughs> How do you do that?! I wanna get these clocks. Yeah, oh, uh, this level is kinda getting multifaceted, isn't it? Hey, fish. You don't get many horse visitors. If you want to bring your steed, you might have to learn how to teleport. Well, that's a lot of extra steps. All right, 139th by scroll, the frozen dimensions. Again, like we're we're almost at 50 out of 120. That's that's almost passing grade if you don't understand number. The frozen dimension. Here we go. Hey, this one has a tiny little extra so, the level I just played was the equivalent of two mushrooms. So, one mushroom basically means, like, literally free. Anyway, look at that, we're playing some Mario 1. Look at that turtle, it's having some fun. Check it out, I can go in the tube. Uh, Mario 1 here looks kind of weird because you, because of the dimensions of Smebex. You just got this huge sky. Check it out if you want to get lost in the sky. This is your day. Mario is a Mario type of guy. I don't understand what that means. I just did a jump. Two. Let's warp to world two. Uh-oh. Look at that. We went from Mario 1. Now we're in Mario... Uh, another one. Three. No, you can't. Sorry. Deck it on. Oh, you gotta do a blood jump here. Whoa. I missed the double bottle bob about with a pink turtle. Those don't exist. In that poor Goomba, he's stuck on this frozen cave house. Frozen cave house for mom and dads. We're going to World 3. Please don't be sad. Look at that. It's new Mario World. It's super gross. <laughs> um, I appreciate the effort in porting these guys, but I've never liked the new Super Mario World aesthetic. Everything looks so cheap to me. I don't know why. Like, it looks like cheap CGI. And, I mean, 
You recreated that. Like, a f like I, I can't blame you for that. You you sought out to do something and you executed on it. Look at that guy. It's just like, look at that guy. Alright, we're going back to two. We went too far. We have to go back. Frozen lake, frozen pond, right in the back. Press the button, dare and get a mushroom for you. But I want my old styled mushroom. You know, it's an investment. Look at that fish. It's taunting me. Whoa. I'm wondering, no, yeah, this has. Oh, now we're going back to one. We're going back through our time traveling here. Look at that bomb. Did you properly look at that bomb? Yeah! Flag! Check it out, Mario 1. It's full of Reeves. So we're gonna put it on our steed. Then we're going to eat a lot of chocolate. Then regret it later. Pocklet. That's not a word. That's fine. Money's getting got. I'm not out of time. There's no time in this game. What do you do? Burn up some chestnut. Just for- well, that was kind of dumb on my end, honestly. I, that was extremely avoidable. I'm just looking for risky things to do at this point. Because, uh, this is a bop! You know what? Some levels are bops. I describe them as bops. This is one of them. Bopping, flopping, stopping, gopping. All day long. Make up new verbs. It's fine. Alright, look at that. Big old plastic pipe, you can live outside. Gonna knock this guy from underneath, that's right. Uh-oh. Alright, I almost- Oh, I did got got. I got got, guy. You're just chucking those hammers. Like, you're not tossing them in the proper scary hammer toss kind of way. I mean, I don't mind. It's easier for me. Oh. So I was wondering if that coin trail there meant anything. We're just kind of zip-zapping through places. It's kind of funny, every time we're in this place, it's like we're... There's going to be a bullet bill jump. It very much feels like every one of these lands is by a completely separate author. So this is just not working. Um... I... Eh, there we go. I need a little bit of a frontal disposition. Oh, okay, there's this way. Hey, there's the other. Alright. So, now I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna jump up, I'm gonna get these coins. How about that? I like this level, look at that! We're now playing good levels! Like, straight out, this was a solid platform bop and pop. Like, super totally. No extras given. Like, honestly. And then everything was forgotten. The frozen dimensions! Uh, maybe it's just because it got like zero point for gimmick, which would be very unfortunate. Don't that great, at least I hope you- I did enjoy it. It's just so weird though. Like, it's just so- it does feel like three different levels kind of living together. Uh, the terms were chosen. Okay, so they they do say that they just... I wonder if they, they just kept rolling, they were hoping to get something that would fit their idea. Which is a bad strategy. Like, the whole point of this, the whole point of a gimmick, is to force you to do something you wouldn't really expect to do, maybe. So, you know, this does taste a bit weird on my tongue, honestly. PNG, girl. <laughs> I mean... It was very Mugen. <laughs> mm hmm No, yeah, Mario 3 felt like a completely different level. I don't mind, but... Because they do very different things each. Huh? Yeah. Party pooper. That's right. Correct terminology. Scientific annotation. Uh, that's true. Honestly, yeah, that's... that is not incorrect. It does kind of feel weird that you end on two. Also, like, there's no number progression. Mm-hmm. As you follow general sense of the original game, landing some things were impossible in the original. Yeah, which is, you know, kind of what you want. Uh-huh. Yeah, and SMB were a place to show off your graphic portings. Which, fine, but... Mm -hmm. That is true. Uh, you could argue... 
that um, oh I didn't I didn't die but like you could argue that if you're gonna do a level about style shift going more extreme is probably desirable snow can be lovely if you don't need to drive hmm yep yep yeah I'm agreeing with this <laughs> look you, you gotta put on your shoes emergency wise when you get knocked around that's just the style can you go in here? Like, there's a big boss underneath there. There's a bed, if you're into that. Oh, you can't join. Okay. Oh, and I... Okay, so that is strictly for going back. So, big boss is just enjoying a sleep, and there's nothing you can do about it. And you know what? That's fair. Can I go here? Yeah, they are strictly for going back. What is this going to look like? Ah, uh, this is limit. I'm going to give it a shot, but I might regret it. By Leet! Hey, there's a name I recognize. Uh, structure that pierces the sky. Ooh, a hefty 53. Kind of pulling up uh, what is otherwise 30. Is uh, I like the name. I love that name for a level. Oh, wow! <laughs> Birds! Yeah! Whoa! Warp! There's a structure. Oh, what's going on with the background? Oh, I'm sorry, people's eyeballs. Is <laughs> There is a rave going on in the ice cave uh, on, a, on the due date just to avoid regret and failure of not having participated. This is a, gr a regret level! We're a no regret level. <laughs> well, who has? You no, know, probably uh, Mike Stoska, honestly. I wouldn't be surprised. Alright, so. Here we get some fun wraparound puzzles, and then we end up somewhere that I Oh, that's kind of neat here, what's going to happen? Hop, and then, yeah, he's going to hop back as a scrunched up neck. You gotta take his advanced cinemaplex, and then here you give it a run. Then you mess it up and have some fun. Well, you don't have to, but it's preferable. Alright, I'm going to be here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna zip, because you need to be big here, you know? It's, they test your ability to remain large, and possibly in charge. All right. Pop. Uh, yeah, that's very tricky on the old eyeball. I don't know what's up with that poor guy that's just kind of stuck in there. He's having fun, I'm climbing up the staircase, I'm gonna go to heaven. Get out of here, Rex. There's a feel good, there's a vastness of space up there. Do Miss Do Judge if you wanna have a bit more fun. You can slide down the stair. There's a fourth level I created for a talk house project. Wow! You made one good one! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Alright. Uh, all right, it's just in a way this level is just a practice. All right, later, Lee. Oh, that was a three star? Well, two and a half star? Go away, bird. Yeah, this is my victory star. <laughs> I like, it was very simple. Like, will it be my favorite level at the end? With some amount of confidence, I will claim that no. But again, to me, this just felt like a fun bop with you know, an interesting usage of Rex, which is not something you can claim often, honestly. Yeah, there's a Spire, there's a Rex, Rustic. Frozen, Frozen! Everyone's freezing today. Alright, I, I enjoyed myself, eh? I had much fun with your level. Much more than a good chunk of levels! Yeah, the background was an idea. Mm-hmm. This feels just weird since I... Um... What? No, you don't. How... Now I'm curious how you interpreted any part. Uh, no parts that I feel like I had to tank anything. What? Well, okay, yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. The big only part is kind of a bad, but, you know. Sometimes I go out and then I reselect. Sometimes I just go to the side. What's the art for the intro and outro anyway? Like, unless you did it yourself, but like, if you take it from somewhere, where, where what's the source? Because I'm suddenly... <laughs> Look, that's just the art part, alright? 
Man, people didn't like the reaction shenanigans. I thought it was one of the rare instances of the unique properties of Rexes actually being used. Uh, nice first file, trippy background, corridor not be able to fire out. That is true. <laughs> also, also, we did not get any plot resolution, so that's like an automatic, like, five-point deduction right there. <laughs> 